In this video, I'm gonna go over taking your opponents back from the turtle position when you get one hook in and then you tip them backwards, kind of like you're getting into them into like a banana split type of position. So Russ here, he's facing me, and then I spin. Boom, I get to the side. Now from here, I get one hook in. I like to have it shallow because this gives me the option to do the samurai roll as well. Then from here, I hook both my arms around his hips. So if we just do a rotation here, right? I got my hook inside. I hook both of my arms around his hips, just like this, all right? This is actually gonna give me good leverage. At this point, look at my right leg, it's gonna step up. Right leg steps up and I drive my heel into the mat. This is gonna help me tip him. I wanna keep this shallow because I'm kind of now in this uh, position I would be if I did do the samurai roll. And if it's deep, then he can counter me. I also want his hips on top of me. So I never want it deep, and I never want his hips off of me. If his hips are off of me, he's gonna counter the position. So I want him on me, and I want my hook to be a little bit more shallow. Then I'm holding him here at this point, I just rewind him back. I have this hook on his leg, and then I get my position. It's a very, very easy position. I mean, you see lots of high level people do it. I know this is a favorite of uh, Gary Tonin. He likes to do this position a lot as well. So let's say we're here and uh, Russ is facing towards the camera. So Russ is facing towards the camera right now. I come here, I get my hook in, I lash around his hip, drive my heel into the mat, come here, grab, then from there I extend. If I need help, I can use my right hand on his leg to drag him by, and then I get my position on him. So once again, I go, I start from the spin, boom, I come through, I get my hook inside. Nice and shallow, I latch around his hip. This is a very, very strong position for me, especially when I plant my foot up. Because now, I, you might not be able to see it, but Russ can feel it. As soon as I planted my foot up, the weight started going towards me. If he goes to move or do whatever, he's just gonna fall at this point. This is a, a very underrated and a very strong position, in my opinion. I mean, this is wrestling 101. Here, back points, if you're a wrestler, I would get tons of back, I would get a pin here, or I'd possibly get back points. My right foot goes behind my heel, then I extend. Look at my left leg. I like to kind of like extend his leg out because it helps me straighten him out a bit more. Then I work to establish the back position. So let's do this one last time from the original angle we were starting with, just so you can see. Oh, my turn. I get my hook in, grab, pull him back, lace, and then I get the back from there. If you... First of all, the turtle is, is super common. So regardless of your training experience, your level or whatever, you will either end up in the turtle or you'll end up on top of the turtle. And getting your hooks in is extremely common. And this is strong. I believe this is a very strong position that honestly not enough people use. Um, that's why you see like people like Gary Tonin, they're very successful with these type of movements because once I get that latch around his hip, it's actually very hard to stop. Even if you try to roll out and try to do other things, he's probably gonna put himself in the position that I want him in in the first place. So um, try this out. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Post below and I'll do the best I can to help you out. All right.